brought, I made myself inviting by getting down on her level and moving away from her. And by doing those things, it encouraged her to come my direction. And then I, hoo-ha, met her. Hey everybody, Ethan here with another shock video. And this evening, it's gonna be all about retrieving. We have a little puppy. She is just about 16 weeks old. Just a couple more days, she'll hit that 16 week mark. And we've been working a bunch on retrieving. Now, something that happens a lot and I think is overlooked, maybe not talked about, and you yourself have already seen it, you're gonna, as soon as I say this, you're gonna be like, ah, that's what's going on. We've had a regression, okay? As she's become more independent and felt her oats, if you will, she's gotten not quite as good at cooperative retrieving. We developed a really good mouth. We developed some good habits to begin with. And then as she's come into this zone, which usually happens between 12 weeks, three months, and five months range, depending on the short hair. Some other breeds may be a little bit slower or a little bit faster, you know, depending on what's going on. But she started to become more independent. Now, I wanna show you what some retrieves look like with her, and I'll coach you, talk to you straight through with what we're doing, and then how we're gonna make modifications to this session if we need to. Also, talk about what we're doing, why we're doing it as far as developing a good, strong hold and a mouth, and how um, that's gonna benefit you and your dog in the future. Let's get rolling. She's ready to rock. Um, we talk about pumping dogs up, right? You can see she's there. I'm trying to extend the throw, so I'm gonna be holding onto her a little bit for these, but not asking for any steadiness. Ready? Ready? Just to make sure that she's paying attention, she sees it. Hey, hey, hey! Talking, praising, good dog. A little movement like this can kinda of pull her in or not, hey, 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 hey. Try and get her attention. Come on, come on, you little turd. All right, so folks, this is the regression that I was talking about. We were getting some really good retrieves out of her, and now we've moved more into basically a straight game of keep away. Now, chasing your puppy down isn't necessarily ideal. Hey, 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 hey but staying close enough that you can pull their focus. Ah, there you go, okay? I wanna point out exactly what I did there, right? Hat, another bumper, something to pull their focus as I'm moving. This is bringing that bubble of her confidence level, because you saw her come, ah, her window was probably like seven, eight feet from me, definitely out of arm's reach, but not all the way to me, okay? Let's finish this up and then I'll continue to explain. We play tug, right? We've talked about that. She's developed a really good strong hold because of that game of tug. Now, we don't play a constant game of tug. We bring her in here, good girl. Let her hold on to it. Adjust it in her mouth, make sure, oh wow, look at that. I've got a really strong grip on that. And then love on her, good girl. We want this to be relatively calm, low key, but at the same time, Good, we work on this just a minute and then we're gonna take it from her. You just put your fingers here in the back of her mouth. This is like vice grip. We're just going to roll the bumper out. Boom, okay? We don't want to encourage dropping for our bird dogs. If you're watching this video about retrieving and you just have a family companion you're liking to play fetch with, teach them drop, that's cool. If we have a bird and that bird happens to be crippled or winged and it comes back alive, they drop it and it takes off running again, we may lose that bird, or it just is gonna wear the dogs out chasing this cripple down again. So developing as much as we can, that natural retrieve to hand is what our goals are. And that's what we utilize tug of war or that little game of tug when they're little to excite them and keep this fun. Now it's in her mouth again, good. See, she's got a freaking vice grip on that, which is awesome. That's what I want. I will not discourage this ever. I only encourage, hold it tighter because I can open her mouth as a little puppy here, or I'll show you on this next one, another cool tip with that. But 
in that retrieve, if you watched, I used my hat, I brought, I made myself inviting by getting down on her level and moving away from her. And by doing those things, it encouraged her to come my direction. And then I -ha, met her at a distance as her momentum was pulling her toward me, I was able to catch her. Now that's only gonna work so many times, okay? She's gonna start to figure that stuff out and she's gonna stop coming to me altogether. So what we're going to do for the rest of this session uh, uh, is include my handy dandy long line check cord. Um, these specific ones, guys, like most of the stuff here that we've got, you can find at standingstonesupply.com. These are the check cords we make and use. Um, it's a great material, doesn't get tangled, slides through the grass, all the fun stuff, okay? That can be a distraction to begin with, right? She wants to pick that up. We need to pull her focus. Hey, good, good. Again, I'm gonna give her just a little, no, no, focus. There you go. You see her start jumping around and hip hopping. I don't want her to miss that. I want her to be focused. Now all I have to do, folks, is get within 20 feet of her. May still prove to be a challenge. Hey, 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 hey! Good dog! Hey! She says, I'm going on an adventure! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Good girl! Good girl! No way is she coming to me, she says. Okay, now we've got this. This is the important part. I am not going to pull, 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 pull her into me. I'm going to give her a little tug. Hey, 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 good. Right here, shorten that distance. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. And use those same tactics. Good girl, good girl. Hey, 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 come on. Good. And keep shortening that leash up. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You can see what she'd rather do, right? She'd rather go play, have fun. But this gives us the ability to get in close and then start to build those really good reps of we're completing this every time you come back to me. Eventually, that's gonna be all she knows. I pick it up, I bring it back to dad. Good, good. Vice grip, okay? The next little tidbit, if you've got a little older dog that has a vice grip and you're like, I can't open their mouth anymore, they're too strong. You can reach back here. This is called the flank, okay? Little flap of skin. And if you just lightly pick up on that, she turned to look at it. Now that light pickup is gonna be just a little different for every dog, but a little bit of pressure there. Just pick up on that flap of skin. She turns to see, hey, what is that? Dogs can only really think about one thing at a time. She forgets that this is in her mouth and then drops it. So, good. All right, pup, ready? Good. Making sure she's focused. Now let's see if we can get a couple good reps here. Hey! Hey, shark! Ha ha ha! Good dog! She said, that hat, I don't care about your hat anymore, Bubba. Come on! Good girl! Good girl! All right. Come here, cord! Ha ha! Okay, I've got the check cord now. Come on, pup. You see already, she's coming with me, right? Until she gets tangled. Come on, come on, come on. Good, 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 good. I'm not reeling her in with constant tension. You know, even more like fishing actually is. We're gonna pull a little bit and then reel that up when there's, to keep slack off. To keep there from being a bunch of slack. Good girl. Hey, 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 hey. You're getting tangled just a little bit. Good, come on, come on. No, pup, good girl. Hey, 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 hey. Tug, good. Hey, 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 good. Come on, good girl, good girl, okay? So ultimately, I know that may look a little bit silly, it's important to realize there, there's not constant tension on the leash and ultimately she makes the decision to be here. She doesn't try and dart away from me. She's like, oh, I'm close enough now. Okay, I can give that to you. A little bit of this practice with tug. It's more about saying, hey, you've got a hold of it. Why don't you just hold that there? 
Swing her into a heel. This is where we want her to be. Good dog. All right, now let's try one here. Make a slight modification to this and see if we can make one a little bit shorter. Trying to pull focus right away. Hey, 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 hey! Shock! Good golly, she's just having a time of her life over there. Come on, babe. Come on. Good puppy. She says, I might need to go potty. Shock. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, there you go. Good. Come on, come on. All right, I'm going to catch that again and slow this down. Good. Come on. Come on. Shock, shock, shock. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. Get off your arm. Yeah, there you go. Good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, no, here. Good. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, no, come on, come on. Good, good girl, there you go. It's by no means perfect. I would expect that a lot of your sessions are gonna look very similar to this. Good, let's try another one. Good dog, you want another one, huh? There you go. See if we can get a little more direct here. We're not ready for big throws. Come on. Come on. First thing she's wanting to do. So this is new for her, all right? When she was a little puppy, she was basically perfect. It was like, oh man, you're awesome at this. Now she's hit that independent streak and she's like, I'd rather just run around with this. This sounds like a lot more fun. Hey, come on. Now, as we move through training with her, Shock, 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 good girl. You see that movement, right, at the end? She came to me. We're just holding her in that position long enough that gives her the opportunity to make the decision, what should I be doing here? Good girl. A little bit on tug, again. It's not a full-on tug-of-war game. By this stage, you are past that, or should be. We're just fixing it in her mouth, that little bit of stimulation here, me grabbing it, says hold on to it, and then when we want it, again, Rolling it out of her mouth. Good. Okay. Shock. Hey, 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 hey. Shock. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Come on, come on. There you go. Good. No. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. This is another good sign, folks, that we're toward the end. She's saying, I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired. I want to keep playing this game, but I don't want to play it your way. Good. Hi, 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 hi. Come on. Good. Come on. Good, pup. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hi, hi, hi. Good. There you go. Let's do another one. Come on. We got a lot of drive and desire here. If your puppy lacks a little bit of focus or seems like they're getting tired of the game, they aren't excited for the bumper again, that's a good sign that you're probably ready to be done. I'm trying to get a good rep here. I want her to make a decision. Come on, let's go. There you go, good. Hey, shock, shock, come on. Come on. She's just fighting that leash. She says, I don't know about this thing. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 come on. Shock. You can see it's really at that same distance, right? She's staying at that same distance, which is a spatial pressure related thing. It's natural. She, says, she knows this is the zone that I should stay in, all right? Good. I'm gonna do one more here, and then we're gonna call that it. We still have a great grip on this. We still have the ability to roll it out. We got a puppy that's very focused. 
Come on. Okay. Whoop. Good. Hey, 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 hey. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good pop. There you go. There you go. All right. I know I said one more, but I'm going to do one more because that one actually looked like we were starting to see improvement. She was giving to that. She was coming my direction. I want one that she really, really does it. Hey, hey, hey. We'll see if I got too greedy here in a second. Good. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Good. There you go. Okay. That I liked the best out of all of them. She was able to kind of continue that movement toward me. It wasn't a constant fight of, I want to pull, I want to fight, I want to run away from you. And that kind of took in this situation, which is a little bit the opposite of what you hear us say on a regular basis, keep those retrieving sessions short, keep your puppy pumped up. Well, we had to kind of wear her down on the exciting aspect for her in this specific session, which was, I'm going to take this thing and run all over hell with it. Once we got her to kind of lose a little bit of that intensity for running all over the place, then she was able to focus a little more. And in that last one, I liked it a lot. Little bit of tugs, little bit of reeling, little bit of my body movement away from her, and then we were able to meet very easily with a completed retrieve. Sessions aren't going to be perfect, guys. I'm sure you've seen similar things with your puppies. I hope this helps. I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Shock. We will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.